14 years old. I was 14 years old at the time. Uh, my father used to ask me to go buy the Dominican paper for him that came then, back then, once a week on Sundays. So as a 14-year-old, I would walk from 153rd Street down to 157th Street at a grocery store. That was probably the only one in the neighborhood that got the paper on Sundays. And one Sunday morning, I was uh, abruptly stopped by two detectives thrown up against the uh, cemetery wall on Trinity Cemetery Wall on Broadway, frisked, and uh, subsequently they told me to just continue to move on. I, I asked them in my broken English back then what, what, what the problem was, and they said they were looking for somebody with a brown leather jacket. You know, I was uh, so traumatized with that that I thought that I had done something wrong. So I was never, I never told my parents that that occurred until I was an adult because I felt ashamed of it. I thought it was a very, uh, that's the first time that I, I, I was in contact and the only time that I've been in contact with the police. And uh, I just think that we have the, the best police department in the world. The police department of this city does not need to resort to those types of tactics to uh, bring down crime. I represent Washington Heights Inwood, Marble Hill. Our neighborhood went through a drug war in the 80s and 90s. Uh, now we're seeing a dramatic drop in crime there. But you know, to, re to resort to that, I think it's, it, it's, it's heavy-handed, and, and sometimes it can lead to friction with, the, with law enforcement that is unnecessary for us to continue to move forward as a city. So this database also is, is very troubling. Uh, to have this uh, database lingering around of people that have done nothing wrong is really troubling. I mean, why, why have that? Uh, if someone has not committed a crime, someone is not a suspect of a crime, there is no probable cause why that information should be stored away somewhere. And if you look at the numbers, you, you see that it's, it's done basically in a very frivolous manner because it doesn't lead to any large numbers of arrests nor convictions. So, you know, I think that we need to revisit this. 